if you're wondering whether the AWS Cloud Practitioner certification can actually move your career forward, especially with how fast the tech world is changing, stay with me. I've been working professionally in cloud for years, and my perspective on this certification has changed a lot. Today, you'll get a brutally honest answer. Is the Cloud Practitioner worth your time, or should you skip straight to the harder certifications? The real question, will it get you a job? Short answer, no certification on air magically hands your job. But the Cloud Practitioner does something more important. It opens the door so you can walk through it. Let me explain it this way. A while ago, I bought a gym membership thinking it would automatically turn me into someone who does meal preps, deathlifts for fun. But spoiler, the gym didn't transform me just because I paid for it. But it did give me access to the equipment, trainers and classes, all the tools I needed. The results only came when I actually used them. The Cloud Practitioner gives you a foundation in AWS services, the cloud vocabulary employers expect, enough credibility to get past initial screening for non-technical or junior roles. It's useful, but not magical. Why people get discouraged? A lot of beginners expect the certificate to be a golden ticket. So when recruiters don't immediately message them after passing, they assume AWS light but the job market isn't looking for certificates. It's looking for capability. The cert shows commitment. Your portfolio shows a skill. Your networking shows intent. Your projects show proof. Think of the Cloud Practitioner as a step one, not the whole staircase. Is the AWS Cloud Practitioner still relevant? With how fast tech evolves, it's fair to wonder whether something you study today will matter in two years. Here's what the data says, the cloud market is projected to grow into the trillions over the next decade. 91% of AWS certified professionals said they gained value from this cert. AWS employees themselves confirm the cloud practitioner is a strong interest signal. And importantly, companies aren't only hiring experts. They are also investing in junior talent who understand the basics. Cloud is not going away. Foundational cloud knowledge isn't going away either. So yes, this certification will stay relevant. Here's something I learned watching chefs work. Whether someone becomes a sushi master or a pastry genius, they all start with knife fundamentals. The cloud practitioner is the knife skills class of AWS. It's broad, it's foundational, and every AWS role, architect, security engineer, DevOps data engineer, starts with the same baseline understanding. AWS even builds all their certification roadmaps with Cloud Practitioner as the starting point. That's not accidental. Should you skip straight to the associates? Let me be honest. I tried skipping tutorial levels in video games for years and always ended up Googling basic controls because I missed something crucial. Learning AWS without the Cloud Practitioner feels exactly like that. Could you go straight into the solutions architect, developer, or sysops? Absolutely. But here's what the cloud practitioner gives you. The exam style and question patterns. The confidence sitting for AWS exams. Simple explanations for complex cloud concepts. Momentum and small wins early on. A 50% discount on your next exam. When people skip the cloud practitioner, I see them struggle more not because they can learn, but because they are missing the base layer everything else built on. Think about the first time you drove a car that wasn't yours. Driving was easy, you already knew how, but just needed to learn where the buttons were. If you have worked with Azure, Google Cloud, Linux, networking, databases, anything IT, you're not starting from zero. You just need to learn AWS ways of organizing things. The Cloud Practitioner is perfect for that fast, high level, not overly technical, gives you the AWS map before diving into the details. So is the AWS Cloud Practitioner worth it? Yes. For beginners, for career changes, for people coming from other clouds. Yes, for anyone who wants to understand AWS before specializing. It's not meant to get you a job, it's meant to make you hireable. But the real progress comes after you pass. Build AWS projects, learn Terraform or IAC, get hands-on with networking, publish your portfolio, connect us with cloud professionals, progress to associate certifications. And if you want the fastest path to pass the cloud practitioner, I broke down the exactly study routine I use for multiple AWS certs. Click here below in the description to see my step-by-step -step method. And if you like this video and would like to see more like this content, please subscribe.